hi guys welcome back to the channel so um, now you've learned um, some code or now you're really interested in learning how to code and you're wondering which lawyer which programming languages you should learn as a lawyer and uh, which languages you should learn first and why so it's one language isn't better than the other and um, you should learn one language at a time it's not like you have to learn uh, multiple languages at the, t at the same time and once you know one language it becomes easier to uh, pick up other languages as you go other programmers know about six to ten languages at a time but not all um, programs are necessary for you as an attorney like I don't think it's important for you to uh, know multiple da database languages the basics like Oracle and SQL are sufficient but before getting into those um, the fact is you should consider when picking the first language um, what you want to build so for instance um, a program we had to build in our final year of law school was um, an algorithm that could um, identify um, hate speech. So hate speech was a program that could identify a hate speech and um, fake news. So during the height of COVID pandemic, a lot of governments were introducing regulations. And so what our jobs will look like um, as modern attorneys and new attorneys in the field is um, implementing IT to um, the law so that would be building AIs that can identify hate speech and um, fake news so you know the the requirements of um, satisfying the law of uh, hate speech and um, fake news right so now what's left to learn is um, machine learning and programming and so now if that interests you um, you need to to figure out what you want to build so that's just an example um, another example of a project I'm working on is um, case managing case management software so attorneys usually are hand handling like 25 cases at a time which is um, a lot of pressure and a lot of the times um, the admin um, required is uh, it's it really takes a lot of their time so if you can automate a lot of the um, admin issues they have to handle and a lot of the technicalities that are just um, manual labor um, we could make law firms more efficient and there's also an intellectual property project that i'm working on so the, now you have an idea of the kind of projects you want to build and then you want to know the difficulty in learning so you want to start off with um with easier languages right and you also want to learn a language which is popular right that's just basically for job prospects and uh, income and more more resources so if you pick a language which is very popular there's going to be more resources more support and a lot more updates if you learn a language which is outdated or it's becoming outdated you're going to find it very difficult to learn or to could learn because we don't have the advantage of learning uh, in a university setting so our learning is trial by error and uh, a lot of support from the trading community from the uh, coding communities so you want to learn a high level scripting languages and what it means to be a high le uh, to pick a high level uh, scripting language is a language which is very similar to um, English in its syntax so when I talk about syntax in coding it just means um, the language in which you write the code so the language in which you write that code is very much similar to um, the rules and structures we follow in the English language so you're looking at Python JavaScript and Ruby and the advantages of these three um, Python JavaScript and Ruby is they're very popular um, they're very versatile and they have um, high utility um, uh, use in them so they can do a lot of things you can build a lot of projects with them they're very popular and um, also for your career uh, flexibility if you decide to say one day you want to focus completely on software development and not on fintech law or IP law then um, these three programs Python JavaScript and Ruby are your best options um, learn Python first and then get into JavaScript with HTML or CSS and then thirdly do uh, Ruby and then after you've done those um, high-level scripting languages you also want to learn a database language we're going to be working with a lot of databases um, in terms of like cases and things like that um, and handling cli clients uh, files you want to learn uh, a database language after Ruby so that would be like SQL or Oracle those two um, you don't have to learn a lot of database languages, um, especially for legal work. So hopefully that helps um, and I've outlined to you why you should pick those um, and not something like Swift. So Swift is like a mobile app building um, software. You don't want to do that because um, there's no point if you're not going to go into uh, software development for uh, mobile apps and you want something that actually helps you in your legal practice. There's no point in learning a program like that. 
I hope that helps guys.